Welcome to Make Easy. In this video, I'll explain you Fibonacci series in QBasic in very detail with the dry run of the program and explanation. So at the end, you will be very much clear about the Fibonacci series and you can write the code. So watch till the end and understand it clearly. Okay, so Fibonacci series is the number series which follow the rules like this. Let me show you. This is one Fibonacci series pattern. Okay, first of all, user have to take any two numbers. So I'm taking here one and two. So the next number will be the addition of last two numbers. So we have taken one and two, and the next number will be addition of these two numbers. So two plus one, two plus one will be three. So next value will be three. Now we have three numbers, one, two, and three. So the addition of last two number from here, is 3 plus 2 so next value will be 3 plus 2 is 5 now add two numbers from the last that is 5 plus 3 that will be 8 again from the last 8 plus 5 add two numbers that is 13 again add these two number from the last 13 plus 8 that will be 21 so this will for follow depending upon the question like I have printed here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th term. Maybe in the question, write a program to generate the following series. In this way also question can be asked in the exam. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. Look at the pattern. First of all, two value is taken 1, 1. Addition of these two number is next number that is 2. Now 2 plus 1 will be 3. Now 3 plus 2 will be 5. So in this way it follows. Up to 10th term means we need to print this 10 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times it is printed. We need to continue up to 10th term. Question can be asked in this way. Write a program to generate Fibonacci series up to 15th term. So it is mentioned here 10th, it is 15. We'll see how to do this using the for loop, while loop, do while loop. I will show you everything just was till the end and be clear. And if you want to watch the pattern printing programs of QBasic, you can just watch my videos. There are many videos available on that. Just watch and understand it very clearly. I've explained that in very easiest way. And the question can be asked in this way also. Find the output of the given program. Program will be given to you in this way. And you need to dry run the program step by step and find the final output. And you can do the dry run in this way as I have done the dry run of the program this one program so i will explain you in that way line by line properly okay let's start the dry run of the program as the program is already written here the best thing about this is you have to understand the step by step process how program is giving the correct result so let's do that first of all cls is written here in the program cls is used to clear the data of the output screen so for now, I have made a uh, output screen like this. So if something is there, it will clear that because of CLS. So this is our output screen for now. So data will be cleared from the output screen. Next, a equals to one, as I have made the variable to keep the value. So a equals to one, I'm keeping here. And b equals to also one. So I'm keeping the value of b also one. Then after that, I'm printing that, print a. So in the output screen, Print A means value of A will be printed. So value of A is what? Look at here, it is 1. So 1 will be printed in the output screen. Then as I am using here semicolon, so it will give little bit of space. And then after that next line is print B. So value of B also get printed in the output screen. That is what? 1. Value of B is also 1. 1, 1 is printed. So as question mentioned that you need to print Fibonacci series up to 10th term. And starting from 1 1 so what I have done here is I have kept the value of a and B as 1 1 and then I have printed that so I have already printed this two times as you can see in the output screen I have printed the value two times now now I'm using here for loop because I want to print that 10 time so I'm using here for loop and my for loop starts from 1 and up to 8 why up to 8 because I have already printed two times so if this for loop will execute and print the value eight time, so that will be total 10 times. So for i equals to one, 
starting value of for loop that is i equals to 1. So I kept the value i equals to 1 and it is the starting. So loop will run from 1 to 8 and initial value of i is 1. So condition is true because 1 is in the range between 1 to 8. When this condition is true, it will go inside the loop and inside the loop I have written here four line of code. So this code will be repeatedly executed. How many times? Eight times. Okay. So first time c equals to a plus b. C equals to a plus b means value of a is 1 and b is also 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Value of c will be 2. And I am printing print c. So value of c will be printed that is 2. Okay. Then again I am using semicolon so it will give some space after printing. Then after this main logic is here. A equals to b. In the a variable I am keeping the value of b. Value of b is what? 1. So I will keep here 1. Fine. Now b equals to c. Inside this b variable I am keeping the value of c. Because b equals to c is written here. So value of c is what? 2. Now value of a is 1 and value of b is 2. So this is the main logic. I have exchanged the value of a and b. Now next i. Next i means value of i will be incremented by 1. So initially value of i is 1. So next i means i equals to i plus 1. So value of i is already 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Or in the simple way you can say next i means increment the value of i by 1. Initially it was 1, so it will be now 2. Okay. After incrementing the value, that is i equals to 2, this program control will go from this next i to for loop again to check the condition. Now value of i is 2 and the for loop will execute from 1 to 8. So value of i is 2 now. So 2 is in the range or between 1 to 8. Yes, it is in the range. So condition is true. When condition is true, it will execute this line again for line of code. So c equals to a plus b. Now c equals to a plus b. Value of a is 1 plus value of b is 2. So it will be 3. And then print c. So we are printing the value of c. That is 3. Again, after printing, we are exchanging the value. So in a variable, I will keep the value of b. Value of b is what? 2. And in the b variable, I am keeping the value of c. So, value of c is 3. So, what I am doing is, I am keeping the last value in b variable and the second last value in a variable after printing. So, and the loop will execute again and it will add those value and will get the next value. So, that is what Fibonacci series is. So exchange of value is done. Now next time. Next time means i equals to i plus 1. i value is already 2. So it will be now 3. Again, after incrementing, the control will go to the for loop here. Back. Now value of i is 3. And 3 is still in the range of 1 to 8. So condition is true. When condition is true, it will add again. C equals to a plus b. Now c. Value of a is 2. Value of b is here you can see 3. So total is 5. And then after that, print c. Print c means c value is 5 will be printed in the output screen. As you can see the pattern 1, 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. It is getting printed in the same way how we have expected. Okay, after printing, a equals to b. Again, we are changing the value. Now, in the A, I am keeping the value of B, that is 3. And then, B equals to C. B equals to C means, in the C, value is 5. So, I am keeping that value in B. Again, next time, next time means, increment the value of A by 1. <coughs> this will be 4. Now, again, control will go to the for loop. Now, value of I is 4. But, it is executing up to 8. So condition is true. When condition is true, calculate again c equals to a plus b. c equals to a plus b means 3 plus 5. a value is 3, b value is 5. So it will be 8. 
then print c print c means value of c is 8 so it is also printed so in the in the same way the value will change and print it again for now let me change the value of for loop up to 5 and let me show you after printing equals to b <coughs> again i am changing the value of a equals to b means value of b is 5 so in the a i am keeping value 5 b equals to c in the c i have 8 so i am keeping that in b because it is written here b equals to c then next time next time means value of a will be incremented by uh, by next i will be incremented by 1 that is 4 and now it is 5 <coughs> after incrementing the control will go to the for loop again now i have changed i am running this loop up to 5 time only so i value is 5 now and 5 is in the range between 1 to 5 condition is true when condition is true it will be added again c equals to a plus b 8 plus 5 8 plus 5 is 13 then print c <coughs> print c means 13 will be printed here equals to b again i am changing the value b value is 8 so b equals to c value of c is what 13 i am keeping in b again next time next time means i value will be incremented by 1 that will be 6 after incrementing it will go to the for loop again this time value of i is 6 but i am running this loop up to 5 so this condition is what false when this condition is false loop is false it will go just after the next i statement that is end of the loop that is end and our pattern is printed look you can see the series addition of last two number will be the next number <coughs> If I have written here 8, it will go up to 8 times and it will print the pattern <coughs> up to 10th term. <coughs> because before the loop, I am printing here value of A and B two times. Now let's run the program. The same program is written here. Let me run it. As you can see, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, and in the same way up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. Up to 10th term it is printed. <coughs> if I need to print up to 15th term, print A and print B, that means 2 times already printed, so I need to write here 13. so it will be printed up to 15th term you can see this count it and check the value whether it is correct or not so in this way it works and if question is asked to try run the program you can do in this way or if you are writing in copy you can do this in this way or in your way also which is easy and which is understandable thank you for watching have a great day and if you have any type of confusion questions you can just comment below see you.